My sister had a teddy bear. A scary teddy bear. I don't know why, but it creeped me out. It was just so disturbing to me. The thing had eyes that looked so real. It was as if it was made from a real bear. And its face was just blank. And unsettling. I first started to get weird feelings around the bear when my sister first got it. She was only a baby at the time, and I was about four. We had a dog, you see, and he had a habit of eating things, so my mother always had to put it up on a small cabinet in the corner in the upstairs hallway. Every time I went up those stairs, I saw that creepy bear suddenly glaring around the corner at me, as if it were watching me. This wasn't the weird part. It, it started to get really weird around five years later, at the age of six or seven. My sister lost interest in the bear, so my mother just threw it in the old toy cupboard. The only problem was that the cupboard was in my room. When I was nine, old enough to stay in my own, old enough to stay on my own and go to bed without any assistance, every night I would get into my bed and turn my lamp off. This is when it got scary. As I was getting some sleep, I suddenly remembered Mom putting that teddy in the cupboard. I slowly turned to look over across my room to see it through the glass. My heart suddenly stopped as I thought about the horrors that plush has caused me. By the age of nine, I wanted to grow up and lose my fears, so I just shook it off and put my head on the pillow. When I got up to pull my sheets on a bit further, I noticed something that would scar me for life. There sat, at the end of my bedroom, the teddy. My heart started beating normally again. I sat there staring at it for a minute. When I needed to yawn, I closed my eyes. I opened them back to see the teddy sitting closer to my bed. At this point, I was really freaked out. I started to move back to the wall looking around to see if there was any signs that anyone could have come in. When I looked back to see the teddy at the end of my bed, I was so startled that I almost fainted from fear. When I blinked, it had gone. I looked around. To my relief, I saw no sign of it. I sat my head back down on my pillow, hoping for some sleep. Then I opened my eyes. It was above my head, staring right down at me. I screamed as it lunged down at me. I will never see a bear the same way again. A few years later, after years of horror, I burned it. I sat in enjoyment as the bear was turned into smoke and ashes in my fireplace. I lived through my teenage years. The only thing I can remember that was in any way similar to my bad experience was when I watched Train Spotting. That fucking baby scene shocked me so bad. But other than that, all was well. When I turned 19, I was about to move into my new home. I had been given the keys to the house and was ready to set up my furniture, and after hours of carrying, I carried the final box from the removal truck into the front door and shut the door behind me. I turned to go into the kitchen and put it on the table. I opened it to see a cabinet. I took it out, walked into my new living room, and placed it in the corner. Stared at it, and thought to myself, I don't remember packing this cabinet. I didn't really care that much, as I had just moved into my new home. I walked back into the kitchen to grab my television, and brought it into the living room when I saw it. The teddy. It just sat there, staring at me with those realistic, blank eyes. It was beyond imagination, like something from a horror movie. My fears could not be contained, and whatever that bear or, or demon possessing it was, I knew I was scared. I threw it in the garbage and put a cinder block over the lid as I slept in my bed that night. Content and feeling a little bit more secure. I woke up that night and checked the time. 
12 o'clock. I heard a sound in the kitchen. I went to the kitchen and noticed that the outside door was wide open with muddy paw tracks leading into the kitchen. I saw that one of my knives was gone from the holder. And then I heard something creeping behind me. I hightailed it to my car and drove. I looked in the rearview mirror and saw its face. It was holding a knife. I slammed the brakes. It flew through the front windshield, stood up, and stared right into my eyes. I felt as if it was pulling me towards it. The only thing that would be coming towards it would be my own two front wheels. I rammed into it. It felt a slight bump. I sighed in relief and drove. Not even a minute after, I felt as if something was cutting at the bottom of my car. Then my car grinded to a halt. I went to check it, and there was a slash through my fuel tank. I ran for dear life to the nearest hotel. I fell on the bed with exhaustion. And when I woke up, it was at the end of my bed.